Welcome to Cat's Creations live on Friday night where tonight I invite you into my kitchen where we're going to be creating a unicorn wreath. So um, as evident by my postings earlier today, I went on an errand run at Hobby Lobby and everywhere I looked it was like unicorn, 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 headband, unicorn, purse, unicorn this and I'm like maybe it's a sign we were meant to make the unicorn wreath. So. The sign was a sign I picked up at Shinoda on uh, my recent shopping trip with Gail and I posted a couple options today for the design to the private group and pretty much almost overwhelmingly they opted for this sign with the, the materials that we're going to use tonight so the good thing is is I have the other materials to do another wreath if we decide to do um, if this design is as popular as I'm hoping it will be, um, we can do a different spin with a different sign and some other stuff. So, do we have anyone joining? Uh, yeah, there's still uh, gals jumping on right now. It just shows Brenda and Sharon. Oh, well, That's hey it. ladies, thanks for joining. Um, so, the great thing is, is if you are watching this on YouTube, you are generally probably catching this on a replay. So a couple things for YouTube subscribers. Number one, if you're interested in any of the items that I talk about today, like my website, my private group, um, if you're interested in purchasing any of my designs, in the description box below on YouTube, it provides you all those links so that you can go find that information out without having to go back and try to figure out at what portion in the video did you mention that. Private group. I do have one. It's $17 a month. If you're interested in signing up, it's at Cats Creations and More, just like this.com. And then um, you get four extra tutorials a month, plus four business classes, and then a ton of other pluses. Um, so we're going to get started on our design tonight using a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath frame. Um, people ask me why I pick the pipe cleaner colors that I do. It's just for decorative purposes. It kind of makes it look nicer. Um, sometimes it kind of helps coordinate with the ribbon choices when we put in the final ribbon selection. It kind of coordinates really well for it. So there is no rhyme or reason to this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring in the final. I had all these pulled out. Um, wire in the final section, which on a 14 inch dollar to wreath frame, it is six sections. We're gonna wire together the inner two rails, so the two closest to the middle, using the weld mark and using the weld marks on either side. We're gonna go ahead and tie the two inner two together, and then we're gonna do the outer two using our center, and then this weld mark as a guide to kind of create that one. And then we're gonna do the same on the opposite side. And this will give you six inner and 12 outer for a grand total of 18 pipe cleaners. Now, this is the way I do it. There are other ways of doing deco mesh, <coughs> uh, race, um, wiring a Dollar Tree 14 inch uh, wraith frame together. It's whatever works for you. This, however, is what works for me and that's what I'm instructing you on tonight. We're gonna be using two different colors deco mesh. We're gonna start with a standard um, iridescent white 10 inch with uh, cut to 20 inch pieces and there's gonna be 18 of those. So we're gonna go in and lay in a nice white base because the second deco mesh that we're gonna add is this pink and blue metallic, but it's a basket weave, which means it's very see-through. It doesn't have a lot of substance to it. So I want that white to pop through on this. So I, we're gonna be doing white, and then we're also gonna be doing pink and blue. Both are cut to 20 inch, and 18 pieces of both of those. The white I got from Craft Outlet, which is currently out of stock, and the pink and blue I got at Shinoda with the trip to Shinoda. So I'm gonna go ahead and start ruffling these and you guys can ask questions. Thank you everybody for liking and sharing. It's yes. Friday, so you can share the page. I always forget that. <clears throat> yes, please make sure you can share away in our public videos. They're easier to find. <laughs> yep, and then uh, 
<laughs> Daisy said, Steve, that was a great birthday present you got for Kat. It was. And then Gail said, wait for me. Wait for you. <laughs> wait for you. I wish you were here. It was not the same today doing my prep without having Gail here. It was incredibly fun to just be like, hmm, I'm not really sure what to do with this particular sign, or I'm not sure this ribbon or that ribbon to have another voice say, wait a second, let me go chair a wall of ribbon and go grab three or four samples. So super, super fun. So I miss that. Miss it, miss it. So we're just gonna go ahead and ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. So the 10 inch white deco mesh is cut to? They're all 20. 20 inches. Yeah, even the pink and blue is 20. Because as we have found out, you can generally get 18 pieces cut at 20 inches and get through an entire roll of deco mesh if, if is good, um, if they roll it correctly, if they measure it correctly. I don't know about you guys, but occasionally, um, I'm pretty precise on my measurements. Occasionally mm. I might come up just a tad short. Yeah. It'll be like 17 and a half. <coughs> yep. So. Especially if they splice it sometimes. Oh, don't even get me started on the splicing. Donetta asked, where did you get the unicorn sign at? The unicorn sign came from Shinoda. So Shinoda Design Center is a wholesaler here in Southern California, um, but they do have an online presence. However, in order for you to purchase from them, you do have to have a wholesale number, federal tax ID number, business license number, and then you can order from them, but they don't have like what Craft Outlet and the Reese Shop have, which is um, you know, shipping minimums. Whereas if you hit a specific number, they ship for free. So, um, and what was interesting is I tried to find the blue um, basket weave mesh on their website and it came up item not found. Mm -hmm. So, and it yeah, tells it you that on Shinoda that you <clears throat> can't always find all the items online right. that the store sell, which is kind of weird, but yeah. A lot of guys are jumping on. Hi, Drabrosia said hi from Alabama. Hi. Read some things. Craft by Deanna says, hey, get Dan here from Tel Telford, Pennsylvania. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Michelle, Sally, Allie, um, Rosalind, and Gina. Hi, gals. Thank you for joining. Gina was on earlier said, hello, hello, hello. Thank you. We need to ask Gina about the cross frames, right? Um, I've got the item them. number. I have the item number. I just got to go on Dollar Tree because I was asked if I would show how to do a cross wreath using the Dollar Tree cross. <clears throat> Steve and I went out before our live to Dollar Tree and of course our Dollar Tree, we really don't have them. anything. We have three of them and we haven't been able to find them. No. So what I will do is I will attempt to go online and see if they are available to order online and then I'll just probably pick up a case and then just do it that way rather than trying to hunt them down and find them. So we will see. It all just depends on if I get the frame. But you can buy frames. <clears throat> and Rosalind said love watching you finally cut alive. Uh, Roz from Ontario, Canada. Hi Rosalind. Oh, thanks for joining us. And any gals that are new here, if you're first time watching, let us know what city and state you're in. Uh, maybe there's some other uh, ladies that can uh, meet up with you and do some crafting together. Yeah, we've had quite a few people make um, connections in their communities with a crafting buddy. Um, not just crafting buddy, but they become close friends like family. Yeah. You know, look at me and Gail. Who would have thought? Two years. You know? Yeah. Yep. Patty, doctor said, yes, I would like to see that regarding the cross. Yeah. And then Allie said, please, I have a cross. So See, everybody has them, except yeah. for me. But I will go out this this weekend and attempt, we have what, two more stars to try to hit in cities that are close to us and see if we can find one. Um, but then I'll look tonight too. So this is an iridescent. It's not very thick, which is kind of what I wanted. I didn't want an overly thick deco mesh because we're going to be putting that pink, blue, pink and blue metallic, which looks amazing over the white. 
So it'll give this a little bit of a changing color sparkle with the iridescent foils in it. And then hopefully the pink and blue will really breathe some life in. Is uh, Shinoda in Costa Mesa or is it Santa Ana? Santa Ana. Santa Ana okay. Yeah, it's actually in Santa Ana. It's off of Dyer in Santa Ana. Yep. Yeah, Pat Reed said we're in Southern California. Is it? So I told her it was in Santa Ana. Yeah, just go and look up Shinoda, Shinoda Design Center in Santa Ana. Online, yeah. Yeah. I'm like trying to think because <clears throat> that, believe it or not, Shinoda Design Center is right down the street from where I grew up. That was my childhood. Like, I could have walked to Shinoda's Design Center from my childhood house. I kid you not. Because um, it is right down the street from our old house. And that was not there back in that day. If only. I love when y'all do that. What? Doreen asks, how wide and long are your mesh? And then Jessica, else Jessica's already 10 inch rolls cut to 20 inch. You guys are the bomb. Thank and you, feel Jessica. free. If somebody asks and you got the answer to that question, jump in there and help them out. Yep. It definitely helps because we can't catch everything. I mean, we're trying. Right, or you're trying. Mm -hmm. I'm creating, you're, you're reading. Yep. Debbie said the same thing. I haven't found the cross yet in Indianapolis, but I'm still looking. Okay. Um, and then Terry said, I cat long week missed you from New Jersey. Aw. Well, we were here Friday, right? Oh, that's true, though. Oh, yeah. We were on Sunday and Monday because yep. we took those days off. Um, we did a crafting day here on Sunday, which was fun. Just free crafting, you know, using the yeah. supplies we picked up on Saturday to make some pool wreaths. Um, and then the bunny wreath behind me, hanging on the wall, yeah. that one's left. Um, that's what Gail created when she was here. So that is available for sale on her Etsy shop if you guys are interested. I just said there's no point in you shipping it. Just leave it here if it ships. Yep. We'll just ship it from here, and uh, you'll be good. Yep, and Donna said if you need uh, a cross, I, I can ship one to you. Awesome, thank so you. So we will keep that in mind, Donna. thank you. Yes. So the people who are finding them at Dollar Tree, I'm taking it that you found them in a local Dollar Tree. These were not like leftover from last year, correct? Mm -hmm. And I'll let that, that comment kind of filter through. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara posted the SKU number for the cross. You guys are so amazing. 262782. That was it. I'm like, it's the only one I don't have memorized. <clears throat> one of the few. Patty said, my granddaughter would like the unicorn. Yeah, she got it from Shinoda Design Center down in Santa Ana, California. And this was the only unicorn sign that was there. I mean, they mm. had a unicorn plushy head, but mm, I don't know. Yeah. I just wasn't a fan of the way it looked. So I was like, I'm looking for something a little classy. This would be great for a baby shower. It'd be good for a little girl's birthday party or for a little girl's room who has, you know, princess theme or unicorn theme. Like I know my friend's daughter loves unicorns. Yeah. So we shall see. There's a couple gals. Uh, Elizabeth said I had to order a case to get any in Mississippi. Wow. And then Patty said yes from a local Dollar Tree this year. Kim okay. just said I found seven of my local one three weeks ago. Oh, I should ask Isaiah to go check the one in Barstow. Maybe, yeah. Because that's how he found my 3D pumpkin race. You yeah. find those ones at those random Dollar Trees where nobody goes. So, three more to go, and then we'll put our pink and blue on. Thank you, Don Anna. What? She said you guys are always welcome. Okay. Like if we need a couple of those crosses. Yeah. I know because Easter's only five weeks away. So yeah. if we're going to finish some stuff, we need to finish some stuff. So if you have not started Easter, you need to be starting Easter like now and spring. Okay. And you can only buy them from a case, right? A Dollar Tree? Or can you buy them like five at a time? Um, I, don't know. I think you have to buy them by, by the, case. the case. Yeah. Yeah. Gene said some crusty were packed away from previous year, but all 
Easter thing should be going out now, if not already out. I can send it. Your free passes if you need to. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, we've been looking. We'll, we'll keep looking. Yeah. That's what we did today. That was specifically why I went. Plus, I'm actually dipping into my... I have this box of Dollar Tree wreath frames. And that's like my final box. So if I dip into <clears throat> that final box, that's like a clue for me. Hey, you either need to place another order with Dollar Tree or you need to hit up the local Dollar Tree and supplement your stock. Yeah. Because yeah. once you dig into that box, when you're done. And Jean said, yeah, you can only buy a better piece. Okay, good. Yeah. Hi, Michelle. So I'm guessing, is it 24 to a case then? Because then you're stuck. I believe so, yeah. 24. But we can always send them out to people who need them too. Like we did the pumpkin. Okay, yeah. so this is exactly what it looks like with just the iridescent uh, 20 inch ruffles with uh, this white. So now we're gonna come back in with this really super pretty basket weave. I can't begin to describe to you guys what it feels like. It just feels amazing. You can cut it with the wet burning tool. So it's not like it contains natural fibers, but one way they're all metallic threads and then the other way they're all like these really pretty little satin pieces. So we're gonna go around and we're putting one of these into every single piece. And remember the only reason I doubled up is because this does not, it's not for coverage. Like you wouldn't just use this because it's so open weave, it wouldn't cover. You would see the wraith frame coming through. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go all the way around and pop this color. You're welcome, Pat. There's a couple gals going. I love the blue Easter wreath. I love the um, the other bunny wreath too. Yeah. yeah. So if you're interested in that one, you can go to Gail's Crafty Designs on Etsy. That's where Gail has that one listed. On the white Easter bunny. Yeah, the white, white bunny. Yeah. And then this one is on my Etsy page now. <clears throat> so this was the, these are what we co-created yeah. together. That's Friday. Yeah, no, last Sunday. No. Yes. Oh, on Sunday, yeah, not on the live. Right. But, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> now that I think about it, I was like, so that's what I made, and that's what Gail made. So we were just going, let's just randomly pull some crazy stuff. So why did I even pick that? Oh, I had chocolate eggs. Mm -hmm. So I wanted the, the little artificial chocolate eggs, so I wanted to put something in there. And I, I had that sign, and I was like, oh, that would look good with blue and brown, non-traditional yeah, Easter colors. Yeah, really, really pretty. Right? Very rich looking. It is. It's chocolate. That's what Gail says. It's the combination of milk chocolate and dark chocolate. No. Hers is white chocolate. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's all white. So, super pretty. So, we will still see all the white because as we look through, it's all still there. Sharon asks, is there any reason why you didn't ruffle the white and then the blue pink and put them in the pipe cleaner together at the same time? She just likes to do one layer at a time. She likes to do it one at a time. She could. It'd be kind of difficult because yeah. you'd have to ruffle this, right? And then stuff it in the bodabra or ruffle the white, huh. stuff it in the bodabra and then do this. You yeah. could do it. You could do it together. Everybody does things differently. So you could technically put them both together at the mm -hmm. same time. I think we did that once when we did the other one where we had the iridescent, the fabric one, we did them together. Mm -hmm. One over the, the other, so. Michelle asked, where did you get the shiny basket weave mesh? This came from Shinoda, um, the design center. So it was funny because we came across it. Um, I've grabbed two rolls and I was like, oh, Easter. And then Gail grabbed two. And then um, when I had the sign, I was like, oh, this is going to look really good with that basket weave deco mm -hmm. mesh we got. Because the unicorn is like pink, blue, and purple. So I'm like, it, it will go good. 
but now we like covet it because it's like when I have tried to pull the SKU up on like the reshop, not available. Mm -hmm. It's like item not found. When I tried to run the SKU on um, craft outlet, item not found. When I tried to just throw it out there to the World Wide Web, item not found. So I think this could be a, it popped out, they, you know, sold whatever they sold and then that's it. It's now discontinued. Mm -hmm which is crazy. Do you guys remember the green and white we did a long time ago? The new green with the white wide stripe? <clears throat> I went to order that the other day and it's discontinued. Not available anymore on any of the sites, mm -hmm. which is crazy. So I'm thinking they bought their case and maybe struggled to sell that case and they were done. But I'm really sad because I really like that color. So, we'll see. But they do have new colors. They had new color deco mesh. So those um, are coming on Sunday. Have we been able to find this window pane deco mesh anywhere else? Nope. No? Nope. I looked today. Because I wanted to see how much it was and if it was available anywhere else. So, of course, I went on Shinoda item not found. So I was like, okay, well that's not unusual. Um, so the SKU number and the deco mesh packaging looks similar to Craft Outlet and Reshop, so I ran the SKU in both. Item not found. Wow, that's weird. And then I was like, what is that? Amber Alert. Amber Alert? Yep. That was interesting. On your phone? Yep. Mm. I knew I missed one. I was like, there's this big white spot and it's because I had a um, white pipe cleaner. I couldn't see the pipe cleaner. Oh, gotcha. So, interesting. Okay. But it's super fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. I was going to say I was going to do that. So can move. Yeah, move yeah. the sign yeah. to the side. Normally I do that. Because Steve does it for staging. And I just need a lot of room. I need room to work. Okay, we're about halfway. Just trying to make sure. It, for me, doing it this way, like in and out, it just helps me to not forget a, a piece of deco <clears throat> mesh if it's added in. Yeah, Carla said she had gone to four Dollar Trees in San Antonio and found no cross frames. See? <clears throat> found one found one of my local one, but I did find the support ribbon frames. Uh-huh. I was in Charles County for a week and checked the Dollar Tree and they didn't have it either, so she's gonna order a case online. Okay. <clears throat> Hi Dell. So I'm guessing if we can't find them that the option to still order cases online is still available, right? Mm -hmm. Or something like that? Yeah. So let me move these even further. I'll push these back into their little hole. So we're going to basically just put um, the sign on. We're going to um, add a ribbon. I'm zooming in. And we're going to put in. Um, are uh, half bows and tails to this one. We might add some floral. I don't know. I brought it out just in case I changed my mind. Because mm -hmm. one never knows. Okay. Hey girls, just join in. We're getting down to the end. Yeah. That's Terry said, I love the mesh. I think I have seen the unicorn sign somewhere. I can't remember where or who. Yeah. But I found unicorn ribbon that would match that sign. I'm making unicorn wreath for my granddaughter and found Aww. the ribbon. So yeah, cool. I found unicorn ribbon too. So we're yeah. going to be using unicorn ribbon. Hi, Jane. Jane's here from Australia. Hi, Jane. And Caitlin should know better. And Caitlin, if you're calling, because you're going to think about this, because um, she always thinks about it after the fact when I decline her call, she goes, oh, it's Friday. It's five o'clock. Oops, I shouldn't have called mom. So yeah, so she's probably out running around 
running errands. I like to talk to people when I'm running errands. Like if I have to be in the car for a while, I like right. to talk on the phone. Yeah. And then Rochelle said, uh, you and Gail with the kids had so much fun. And it makes her want to visit Shinoda. You should go to Shinoda. Yeah, when well, you go to this local to California, it's definitely worth the drive. Yeah, well, they have one in San Diego. It's a little smaller than the one in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you, because I think we have somebody in our group that lives in Oceanside, I would hit up the one in San Diego. In San Diego. Yeah. I don't know if that's closer for you or not. But yeah, they have one in San Diego. But that's it. There's just two. Well, awesome. Jackie Middleton just said Craft Outlet and the Reed Shop have the unicorn sign. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I don't feel special anymore. I know, right? Well, thank you, Jackie, <laughs> for letting us know. Thank you. If you're able to, post the SKU number. Or the item number. Or the item number, yeah. Item number, yeah. I like that, because that's a really heavy-duty sign. That's so not fair. Because there was like one. And so, of course, like me and Gail are like, you go ahead and take it. No, you go ahead and take it. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of fun designs coming. So, things we have never created before, like the unicorn wreath. I know mm -hmm. it's like that one up specialty thing, but you know what? Sometimes it's fun just to make specialty wreaths, you know, rather than everybody would expect, you know, floral wreaths for spring. Or, you know, something for Mother's Day, whether it's floral. Mm -hmm. um, I want to mix it up this year. I want to have some really unusual designs. But still really cool and fun. Like this one. Just making sure. And I skipped another one. It's the white ones, man. Because <laughs> I'm like, there's another white pipe cleaner I missed. Hi gals, just joining. Thank you for joining on a Friday. Much appreciated. Thank you taking the time out of your days and schedule. Yeah, your evening, right? And now, since Gail's been here, she knows the whole routine. She knows like what we do, you know, hours before that. Um, what we do immediately after. It's like the secret is out now. <laughs> She got to meet everybody that we know. We took her to all of our favorite places. So yes, we will be going to Paulina's tonight for dinner. Yes, we will. That's a traditional Friday night thing. We have a standing reservation and hopefully it won't be as bad as it was last Friday. Yeah. Last Friday was pretty intense. It was packed. I was like, it's not normally like this. It's totally dead. Two more. <laughs> Just when you think it couldn't get any bigger. It does. So we're gonna do purple. The Francis colors, gorgeous, my favorite color. Um, Purple's our favorite. Jane said, love these colors. See, now when you add the pink and blue <clears> together, <throat> it almost looks like a light lavender base. Well, what's funny, too, is that that was even Gail's base on her white bunny. Yep. It's white with that. Yep. 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 But it's funny. It's like we knew this. Like when we were throwing stuff in, we were like coordinating stuff that was going in the basket. Oh, this would look really good with this. And oh, okay, now we need, we need to go back to the ribbon knot. Because we need ribbon for this. Uh, you couldn't have picked a better deco mesh for that sign if you tried. What, this? Yeah. Why? Just because well, it matches the sign. There is one. Hmm? There was the all purple basket weave that we bought. Yeah. But it's in 21 inch, and I was like, mmm, that's yeah. a little too thick to be poofing. But I like it because it's got sparkles throughout it. It, yeah, it's, it, really it sparkles yeah. this way, and then the other way is just satin. So last piece going in. <clears throat> oh, awesome. Don Williams said, hello, everyone. The Shinoda Design Center in San Diego is about 20 minutes from me. See? I'm looking forward to going there very soon. Yay. You'll have to send video. Take lots of pictures. Yeah. Just be prepared. 
it's a shock when you walk in there because you're just like it's like a wreath maker's version of heaven there literally is everything try to have a budget number and try to stick to it <laughs> what budget okay so look this is the base isn't that gorgeous with this deco mesh with the metallic combined with the white iridescent yeah and there we go yeah. so now we're going to go ahead and create the bow because i need to figure out how big the bow is going to get so um, because I already know where the sign is and I know that I can take a 12 inch round and add a bow to it because we just did it for the uh, chicken wreath that I made yesterday. So I'm going to show you all the ribbon we have. You can just ask me to move it. So here is the unicorn. So it is white iridescent unicorns on this bubblegum pink. That's the two and a half. This came from Shinoda. Um, this pastel stripe came from Shinoda. We're gonna be using that as well. Um, the pink, purple, and white on the diagonal plaid uh, craft outlet. Same with the purple, purple and white mm -hmm. on a diagonal was um, craft, craft outlet. outlet. Same with the lavender, just plain. And then this really pretty teal blue actually came from Shinoda. So these are my color palettes. I'm trying to think how I wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. um, you guys know I like to pop my colors. So I'm mixing. I think I'm gonna do it like that. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna start with the pastel two and a half, because that's pretty, it'll kind of lay the base. So we have to dovetail cut, which is put our wired edges together. We're gonna cut from the corner to the tip. That gives us that little dovetail cut. Put my closer. We're gonna go 10 inch tails. So right here to 10. And we're gonna do five and a half inch loops. So we're gonna twist. I like using the Bodabra because for going on three years now, this is where I started and this is what's most comfortable for me. You do big bow, big bow? Big bow, yeah. Five and a half. So we'll do five and a half. Wow. Oh, bless you. I apologize. Five and a half on this side. There we go. And then, here is our 10 inches. I think it was because I had just used cucumber melon hand sanitizer before we went live. Mm. So I was like, I used a lot. <laughs> so I can still smell it. So there's that. That one's all finished. Um, then we'll use our pink unicorn which is so pretty. I like the bubblegum pink. <laughs> David said, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Fran said, love the Bodabra. Yes, yeah, so that's her favorite too. And that's what's nice is when we had Gail here, Gail was more fluent with the Easy, Easy Bow Maker. So I was like, this is great. I have all the stuff you need to create everything. We can co-create together mm -hmm. and make our bows. So thankfully though, the design we did didn't require a bow. So I went with nine and a half inch tails and this is gonna be five inch loops. And because the unicorns are painted on this ribbon, when you have to, like I just did it there, when you have to twist with the unicorn, it doesn't want to twist very well. You kind of have to force it. So nine and a half, and we'll go ahead and dovetail that, get it to stay, down. yeah, because it's painted, which is why the pin doesn't want to go through it really either. <coughs> so now we'll do our nice lavender, sometimes it's nice to put 
just some plain colors in. That was one of the things that we made sure with mm -hmm. Steve's help. Now, ladies, make sure you all get plain solid color. <laughs> plain colors. You know, and if we were kind of deviating, like, oh, look, pretty print. Oh, look, this would be nice for Christmas. No Christmas. Uh, Steve had to, like, reel us back in. Plain. Do you guys have plain? Do you have plain purple, plain blue, plain this? Mm -hmm. These are nine inch tails with, we're gonna do four and a half inch loop. Same here. And I just keep taking it and moving my bow dabber back to the 10 inch line and then just making sure that I'm pulling enough mm -hmm. um, to be current. There we go. And then we're gonna do eight and a half inch tails with four and a half inch loop with the blue. I do love all the different designs on the ribbon, but if you don't have a plain ribbon in there with it, it all the other designs just kind of get mixed in. A plain yeah. ribbon really makes the other colors pop. Yeah, sometimes. Cause I was like, did we do that? Mm -hmm. I think on all the designs we had at least one solid color in there. But you don't always have to. Yeah, like Gail you know, did this. Easter is all different colors, yeah. She had this color in. And this was doo -doo 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 -doo, 50 yards. So this is gonna get me through a long time. All the bee trees. Yeah, because I bought it this color plus coral. Mm -hmm. Gold. Because we're gonna do peacock wreath. <gasps> peacock wreath. We've never done that one. But we are this year. I just want to find peacock feathers, like really nice ones. So this one's going to be the same Four and a half. as our purple, right? So move that to the side. So if you put your fingers in both loops, you can pull this one back and make sure. That's what's nice about the middle section. They're the same. I think this one's just a tad too big. So I'll bring it back. So you're doing eight and a half or nine inch? This one is eight, yeah, it goes 10, then nine and a half, then nine. This one's eight and a half. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Yeah, this one's eight and a half. And then it'll go eight and then seven and a half. So each time I'm adding one ribbon, I'm reducing the length of the tail by half inch. And the only time the loops are the exact same are the two middle starting inch and a half. So they're both four and a half inches. So then it'll go four and then three and a half. Thank you, Jackie. What's that? She posted the SKU number for the unicorn sign. Yay! For the reach shop. Mine off. Yep. So the reach shop has it. Reach shop unicorn sign. M D O the letter O five seven two. Okay. Um, now keep in mind that the re shop has an eighty nine dollar minimum to get the free shipping, which is easy to do. Sadly, really easy to do. Brenda, the blue ribbon is from Shinoda, which yeah. is down local to us in Santa Ana, California. Yeah, this one. Yeah. It's just pretty because while it's plain, it's still it's or solid. It still has a, a pattern to it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, we can kind of get away with that one. Okay, make sure we're getting our four. Bring that back. And that whatever bow maker you think is easiest for you, go for it. Yeah. She said she started with the bow dab right now. She uses the four and one from Pro Bow the hand. <clears throat> okay. So, and I think somebody said the four in one is similar to the easy bow maker, mm. I think. I don't know. Too many bow makers out there. I just <laughs> find one that works. For me, starting out, this was the most affordable solution. Um, I think the easy bow maker was out there, but for some reason I did not, I didn't gravitate towards that. I gravitated towards this one because you can use it multiple different ways yeah i use it for my angel tree choppers um so this one is seven and a half inches and then this will be a three and a half inch loop 
So I think this will tie all those pink, blue, and purple colors together. Let's bring that in. For all you guys asking for SKU numbers for the other material, this one will be in her private group. Mm -hmm. She'll put all the material lists in her private group. That's one of the pluses there. At, in the private group. She'll put all the SKU numbers for all the ribbon in there. So we're doing three and a half. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I think I liked the most about one of the private group benefits is you basically get mine it's not an instruction sheet so to speak but it kind of is you can kind of use the materials list in the video and yep. you can replicate any of my designs right down to yeah. um, to anything or if it's not available because I don't know it's discontinued then you can find a substitute easily that people ask me that all the time. Well, I can't get that ribbon. What do I do? And it's like, find a suitable um, substitute for that. So now we're going to go ahead and take all this out because it's all nicely stacked. I'm going to use a pipe cleaner because it's just easier to get a really good grip on that. And then I will pull up the board, which Gail liked using. Mm -hmm. She has the original fluff box. She's like, this is a lot easier. Because it's not so high. Yeah, it's not so high. Yeah. So I just used the little C hook on a, what did we say this is? Board. I think it's an 18. Yeah. Well, 17 and a half. By 24. Yeah. By 24. So doing our fluffing, you're going to pull your tails and your loops in opposite directions on both sides. So here's our tail and our loop. So on the other side, we want loop over here. So here's the loop. Here's our loop. And basically what it should be is that your tails and your loops are complete opposite from each other. So we're going to do this opposite. So we're going to pull it this way. And we are going to, yes. I'm like, is that the right way? Yes, it is. Okay. Same thing here. We're following the pattern of this. So we're going to pull opposites here. And then, oops, it's going to pull them in the same direction. Nope. Opposites here. And then here. It's just sometimes it's hard to get them to unstack when all the other ones are falling. There we go. There's our blue. And then our purple. I think I'm going to pull the purple opposite because if I follow suit, the purple is just going to stay with the purple. So I'm going to go complete opposites which you can do. Just make sure that the next one coming down goes the opposite direction. So I wanted the purple on opposite sides. So we're gonna go, yes. Sometimes one has to think about that. And then we can fluff everything. And so you can pull things in whatever direction you want. If you want your loops, you know, to kind of split up some colors differently, pull them in whatever direction you like because mm -hmm. it's your bow. So she said the ribbons are gorgeous. Thank you. Gail said, what size is the board? I need one in my life. I Gail? I replied, yeah, I replied back there. Bed, Bath, 16 or 17 by 24. It's 18 by 24. Oh, 18? Okay. Bed, Bath & Beyond. Bamboo cutting board. And there we go. So let's take this off. Popping it off the C-hook. There we go. So here is our bow, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this, but before I do that, um, knowing what I know, I'm gonna need to remove all the interior pipe cleaners first, because between the side and the bow, 
they're gone. They're either going to be covered up either by the sign or by the bow. So I'm just going to give them four more twists and cut the pipe cleaners off and tuck the little sharp end down into that basket because this way I don't have to go, oh darn, I forgot all those pipe cleaners under the sign. Mm -hmm. Darlene said, love the bow. Fran said, what a bow, awesome. Deborah said, beautiful. Yeah. And then uh, Diane said, you do such pretty bows. Mine never looked that good. They do. You gotta keep practicing. Practice and like what Gail started to see is if you do them on a flat surface, like the fluff box I think is only a 12 by 12. So if you're doing 10 inch tails and pulling those, you know, opposites, you're 20 inches out. So it's kind of hard to get it to to lay flat while you're pulling your loops and your tails in opposite directions. So try a more flat surface and then just really work the bow mm -hmm. and do that pull in opposites. And a cutting board is really good because it's heavy. It's heavy enough to where it doesn't move. Yeah, it doesn't slide around. So, and the last one. Two, three, four, and snip. And I think this is like, I used to look for a flat section, so this one's laying pretty flat. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pipe planer and push it down to the frame. You just don't want to pull it all the way to the frame. So I just have to go through two layers of mesh to get there. So just bear with me. Why do you always get one side that's really easy and the <laughs> other side that's really challenging? Um, wouldn't be a reef if you didn't. Wouldn't be a reef if it went smoothly. <laughs> I know, and I just feel like I'm compressing my bow as I do that. Um, Trying to make sure like that I'm on opposite sides. One of my that's what the problem was is one of my pipe cleaners feels a little shorter oh. than the other. So it's hard to grab. Yeah, it was hard to grab. So now we'll refluff <clears throat> everything. Yeah. What? She said I'm gonna sell my Probo and fluff box. That's what you said. And when we'll you replace were here. it with a cutting board. There Please you go. Hold. Please hold. <laughs> I know. That was Gail the whole time. Please hold. Every time I'd ask her a question, she'd be like, please hold. That's one thing we learned from Gail. We use that. Please hold. Yeah, it's just a polite way of saying hold on a sec while I check. So I am moving, and I might move this over a little further. I'm trying to pull it over so it creates, because I don't want the longer tails impacting the sign. So let's go ahead and put the pipe cleaners. This one has an up and a down. Do I want to do an up and a down? <clears throat> Usually, oh, yeah, that's a And work. is the lighter lavender color better? What? Yeah. The lighter purple? Yeah. I was doing purple. I thought I grabbed purple and then when I looked, I'm like, oh, I have white. No. So we will make sure our pipe cleaners even because then that'll create a more uniform mm -hmm. and this one already has the holes in it so I don't have to add holes there we go there's a piece of that so we will center we're gonna put the unicorn slightly under the loops of our bow until we get our pipe cleaners down to the mesh frame. So through, sometimes it's almost through three levels because mm -hmm. you've got to go through some of the ruffles, but I, thankfully I get both of those. So we will twist and then we'll pull this line back down. I was about to say. Super pretty. And flick. And flick. Swish and flick. Yeah. So we'll pull this one down. 
Okay. Now one needs to just get a pipe cleaner down. It poked. Now I just need to pull it and compress it and get it down to the frame. This is where you can pull a little bit harder. And we're just gonna move the loops mm -hmm. from our unicorn. So I'm just gonna fidge these so they frame more than lay on top of it. I want more of the loops. So I'm gonna kind of move these. <clears throat> Wanda said hi from Windsor, Ontario. Super cute. Thank you. So we're trying to get these to frame the unicorn and not really hang over. So I think I'm going to cut the purple just a touch shorter. Because I really don't want it hanging over. <laughs> Alec replied on Gail's phone. Hey, can't see if it's Alec. I'm loving my new lightsaber. Oh, I am sure he is. Well, thank your mom. Yeah, but you were there helping him. Like, okay, you need to get this, and yeah. do you want this? So, okay. Let us push some of this basket weave down. Okay. Let's see. Do I want it that high, or do I want to pull it down a bit more? I think I want it down a bit. Just a little bit more. So I'm going to take it up and pull it down to the next level so I can really pull it. It was just on the inner ring and it kind of helps if they're actually one on the other side and not both on the same side. There it goes. There it goes. I like the cyan background because it's like yeah. a marbled color. Yeah. Okay. So, this is what it looks like so far. Oh, Can yeah. you see that? Yep. Yeah. I like it because the horn isn't like Daglo gold, but it's just a nice right. set up, subtle. I mean, color. it almost looks like a copper color, which I like. Kind even of, right? Yeah. And then you can take your basket weave and pull some of that deco mesh back so that it frames your wreath instead of laying underneath it. So we're just pulling these pieces out. So go all the way around making sure I have all those fun pieces. That way it frames instead of just mm -hmm. Old. There's another one, the blue. Okay. Here we go. And sometimes the blue thread on the very edge, that's what I've been pulling the blues out. I'm like, I don't know why the blue just doesn't want to sit. Okay. Better? Better here, better there. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just going to add in some ribbons and tails, which are the two colors <clears throat> I'm using for the two and a half, obviously are the same two and a half. The pastel stripes and the unicorns, obviously, cut to 13 inch pieces, and then the inch and a half is cut to 16 inch pieces. So we're going to use the pink, white, and purple and then the purple and white plaid on the diagonals. So we're gonna do one in each, alternating the colors all the way around. And you can do them however is easiest for you. You can do one section, like finish one complete section by putting in like your two and a half. And then if you want, you can go ahead and put your half bow in on top of that. It's up to you. And then cut everything. Um, but I have a tendency of not cutting everything until I'm done. I'm just cutting all those little wispy pieces. So I'm just taking these and laying these directly in 
on just the 12 outside pipe cleaners. And then we'll put our half bows in and then we'll be done. Okay. Back to our pastel. And I think bringing that purple back down just kind of ties everything in. Mm -hmm. There's the trying to find the pipe cleaners. And Brenda, yep, the cutting board is a bamboo cutting board from Bed Bath & Beyond, 18 inch by 24 inch. Because you can use your 20% off coupon. Yeah. Or That's $5 why I got it there. Or $5 off. Or $5 off. <laughs> or depending upon how, yeah, I think it's 5 off of 15. Yeah. That's true. I don't remember how much they were. But I just like things at Bed Bath & Beyond because if you don't like them or they fail, you can take them back because mm -hmm. they have a great return policy. Hey Carol, she said from Myrtle Beach, I got a late start. What method of uh, did you use on the beautiful mesh? I replied to her already that it's all ruffles, ruffles cut to 21 inch, or 20 inches. 20 inches, it. yes. Yeah. Yep. I know, I try to give Steve the briefing before we go live. I'm like, everything's cut to 20 inches. Um, two different color meshes, all 18 pieces. Mm -hmm. That way he he kind of knows. Do you guys have any questions about anything that I can answer for you while I'm stuffing ribbon tails in pipe cleaners at this stage? And I just like to fan them out because it kind of gives additional, makes it look a little larger. Oh, Darlene, that's too bad. She said they've closed a lot of Bed Bath & Beyonds here in Florida. Yep. You watch. They're going to be the next to go. It's going to be sad. I think we're going to see a lot <clears throat> of brick and mortar stores go bye-bye. Yep. Oh, yes. thanks, David. Too. I guess that's a good idea to do. What? Um, the, along with the cutting board, I just used, I think it's a one-inch eye hook. Oh, yeah. Um, that's not a full hook. C hook. Just a C hook, right? C -hook. That you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's, and I just you just Target. you just hand screw it all in. Yep. Thank you, Daisy. Twist, twist, twist. <laughs> yeah, and then if you want, you can put the little nail on the edge so that if you are using the Probo and you have your wire or you're using floral wire, you can secure your floral wire down if you have enough depth between. Uh, the center yeah. of your C-hook to the edge of the board. And Pier 1. Okay. Oh, yeah, they pier said one. Pier 1 might sell uh, the uh, cutting board as well. They don't have coupons. I'm always looking out for the deals. Mm. Coupons. Great return policy. Thank you, Jackie, for the SKU number. She said, got to go. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bobby Carlson said, I was so jealous of your trip to Shinoda. I need to go back there. Anytime you guys want to go, if you're local in the Southern California market, let me know. Mm -hmm. I love going down there. It's definitely a trip back to the past. Yep. Oh, I have two more to go. Did I do these right? Yes, I did. This one goes. I always hate that when I look up and I'm like, oh, I see a stripe. The stripe is going to touch stripe. That means I missed it, which I did yesterday. I had my ribbons off by one pipe cleaner. I had to go back and take, a, take them all out and fix it. Yeah, they're, so they're even closing a lot of Pier 1s, too. Yep. JC Penney's. What else is going under GameStop? Uh, a lot. Our Sears is already closed, which is really sad. Yeah. Because Sears was like, that's where America shopped, right? Yeah. Okay, so 16-inch pieces for the inch and a half. I'm going to take the purple and add the purple to the unicorn. So half bows or take your tail pieces together, put 
put them together, and then you're just going to walk your fingers up to where you got about two inches from where you pinched it to the end, literally is two inches. You'll start to know two inches really easily once you finish doing these. And these are going in on top of the unicorn print. And I'm going to do my twists, take my the remaining piece of my pipe cleaner off, and then I tuck it behind the half bow. And I'll spin this around so you guys can see it. But this is what ends up looking like, and I'll just keep going to the next one. So here, this is going on our striped. This one's painted too, which makes it challenging to pinch. You could add florals to this. Um, I saw a couple of really cute, really small little plush unicorns that are probably about four or five inches. You could take those and tuck one into the bow if you wanted. But they were just more bright, less pastel. Mm -hmm. So they kind of didn't want to work with this design. Yep. Uh, Michelle said, Ikea is a big heavy cutting board too, so thank you Michelle, that's a good idea. Walmart even does too, as far as I know. Yeah. Um, Dave said to think to remember is just how Amazon is affecting retail, retail store locations. Yeah, well, they are. that and um, Walmart and Target are doing their best to keep up, so we'll see. I think those are the two big contenders. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Fran said, you've inspired me to go make a wreath with those colors this weekend. Have a great evening, Cat and Steve. You You're too, Fran. Have a great Thank week you. weekend. Rosalind said, love the half bow. Sharon, that's a good question. She said, do you set yourself a price limit for a wreath center sign? Okay. Yes, we kind of did. Yeah, because we were doing that when we were at Shinoda. You know, we'd we'd be really drawn to a sign or a a particular embellishment, and we always say we know what we pay for our signs. So somewhere between ten and fifteen dollars is probably what I would limit yeah. that. And then you have to watch your deco mesh because if you're going to use like two or three different color deco mesh. And it's a, an expensive roll of deco mesh to begin with. Like, what was it? The fabric mm -hmm. deco mesh that I used in one wreath was like almost $8 a roll. Yeah. And I used the whole roll. And so when you're doing stuff like that and you're not using the $3.95 or $4.95 rolls of deco mesh and you're, you're dipping into that premium stuff, you got to watch your costs. Because you still want to make it affordable enough for your customers because you don't want to overprice yourself. Yep. You know, you don't want to spend $45 in product and then try to sell them for 90, 125 because they'll just sit. Two, three, four. It's so funny how small some of these pipe cleaners are by the time I finish them. Like one end is really small. But this will be nice. Like I said, this will make a perfect, mm -hmm. you know, girl's wreath, girl's girl's wreath to hang over the bed because mm -hmm. it's lightweight. Um, or party decoration if you're doing a unicorn or princess mm -hmm. party. Uh, baby shower wreath for a little girl. Because if you have somebody who's really good with writing, you could just write on the sign the name of the baby. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> I just wouldn't leave that up. Like, I, my writing's okay, but not like these people who can do the really cool lettering. Mm -hmm. um, like, one of my friends can do that. But, yay, have a couple more pieces and then we're done. I'm kind of like skipping because I did that one piece over here and then spun it. So I just did decide that I could. And we'll get underneath. Any other questions you guys have while I'm doing this? Just have, I think, four more pieces and we're done. Mm -hmm. 
Um, here we go. Three more pieces. The one thing that we noticed is that a lot of the ribbon manufacturers are going cheaper on their ribbon. Like, um, these are really nice um, cotton canvas. And what we've noticed is people are trying to go this, but with like a satin or polyester finish. So it's like a simulated look, but it's not the true ribbon that we're used to using. So I hope that's not the going trend. Yep. Because we love good quality mm -hmm. ribbon. Okay, we're all the way around. What did I do? Yep. Let me a short. Huh? Nope, put two purples next to each other. Oh. <laughs> so, because I have my pipe cleaners twisted, gotcha. I just have to end twist this one because it should have been a different color. There we go. Grab these. I don't know why I did that. I was like, because purple looked good on everything. Even on the pastel plush. Now this will be challenging. So it'll be get them together and then grab your needle nose pliers. Grab both pieces and twist them. Well, that's awesome, Wanda. She said, this is my first live with you, Kat and Steve, so Aww, thank enjoy you, it. Wanda. Looking forward to many more. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too, Wanda. Now we can put this one where it's supposed to go. On the unicorn. Linda said, hey, everyone, your wreath will be adorable with the unicorn. Yep. I like it. I think it'll be cool. It's cute. Okay. We're working under the bow now. So I find that I like to continue that look all the way around and not, you know, because the bow's laying on top of your tails, completely skip that and go, well, yeah. nobody's going to see that. You will. So we're going to go all the way. Two more. <clears throat> okay. I think the blue is just a nice touch too. Yeah, it's like you didn't want to forget that it's there. Because it ties it into the deco mesh. Mm -hmm. It's also in the ribbon. Okay, one, two. Last one. Darlene said, love the colors. Hi, Karen. I'm a big fan of purple anyway, though. And yeah, you love purple. These are great girl colors. Purple, pinks, blues. A little bit of green. And this is our last one. Kelly Fox had just got in there after dinner to celebrate my grandson's confirmation. Congrats. Oh, very can't, good. Can't wait to see the wreath. Yeah. And it's already available, I think, right? Yeah. On it's her Etsy shop. So it just says the. It just says Facebook Live. Facebook Live, yeah. But I think it says something like Unicorn Wreath underneath that. And so is the Happy Easter Bunny behind her. It's not on mine. Oh, that, that one, one, yeah. Yeah. That one's on Gales. That one's on Gales, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tony said, your cat really turned out beautiful as always. God bless you for sharing. Thank well, you, Tony. you're Johnny. welcome. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Thanks, Adele. She said, just love it. Amazing cat. So let us flip these. Okay. You guys ready? Final reveal. Stand it up real quick, yeah, and then... Yeah, let me pull this one down now. This one over here. So I'll show it to you guys this way. It's amazing. I love it. 
So yeah. while you guys are doing that, I'll do my final twists on my pipe cleaners. Because this is what I do when I'm off camera. I'll take the rest of my pipe cleaners, twist them. Eeks. So I got one more. We'll let us. Jinx and I all, beautiful cat. Peggy said, lovely. Okay. Jimmy said, looks like you're making rag week this weekend using your direction for the full 14 inch wire frame. Awesome. I gotta do that. I need to put some more rag race in. Okay. So there you guys go. What do you think? Do you like? I'll have Steve zoom in. Yeah, I did. Okay. So. <clears throat> said, fabulous. Rosalind said, I've always been a purple person, so this is, this so is my granddaughter. Out, right? Yeah, I think so much is so beautiful. So I'm just pulling those little threads. There we go. They're just the little blue ones on the edge, but I hate that. I hate it's funny, that. the hair from the unicorn mane just blends in really well right with, with the these. tails. Yeah. Right, and you can just kind of take them you want kind of put a little twist on it yeah there you go that's it all the colors sound beautiful love it okay. awesome okay so what's going on for the weekend sunday in the private group we are working on uh curls this is our second stage in the beginning design academy. So we're gonna create an entire base for a deco mesh using nothing but curls. I'm gonna show you how you can kind of take that, put your own twist on it. Most of the time with the curls, those are kind of tricky because you might have to add additional pipe cleaners, but I'm gonna show you how you can create not only a wreath, but also flip that to where it can also function as a centerpiece as well. And then on Monday, for our business class, I need to look and see if there's any outstanding Etsy questions that you guys have that we haven't already answered. I think we're doing sales, or not sales, yeah, how to run a sale in your Etsy shop, how to issue a refund, and then how to create a coupon. So I think those are what we're doing in Monday's class. So if you want to join that group, that's what we do every Sunday and Monday. We do um, wreath, additional wreath classes, and then Monday is all business. So we've already ran the gamut of everything to do with Facebook. Now we're opening Etsy shops and doing everything related to Etsy before we move on to other things like Instagram, Pinterest, social media marketing. Other website design, yeah. Website design, Canva, creating banners for Facebook, Etsy, all that stuff. So all that's included. So if you're interested, just go to castcreationsandmore.com, $17 a month. Sign up. We'd love to have you join us. Yep. Who knows? We might become rethink buddies. That's right. All right, everyone. Any other final questions other than I'll let you go. Have a great weekend. This all said. Uh, do another beautiful read. Have a great night. Audrey said another great Friday Night Live. Thank you. Colors are gorgeous and won't be in your shop for long. So, we can only hope. Yep. So great. Thank you again for your time. Many talents. God bless. Thank you. All right, everyone. We'll have a great night and I will talk to the private group on Sunday. Everybody else, I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.